Facebook and Instagram, they threaten to block all news content from California if this law is passed. Welcome to Ray Dog's Random Thoughts. Ray Sean Blyden here. Today's show is brought to you by Political Bomb Show Store. Go to politicalbombshow.com and click on Political Bomb Show Store. So woke to broke. Get your So Woke to Broke t shirt. Just go to politicalbombshow.com, click on Political Bomb Show Store, and grab you So Woke to Broke. Let's talk about it. I'm curious myself. I purposely don't read these stories ahead of time because I want to get I want you to get my genuine um, feelings on what I'm reading my gen my actual take my spontaneous take if you will Facebook Instagram better known as Meta 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 Beta Meta Beta Meta Threaten to block all news content from California. Haven't heard from you. That's why. Tell me why. If state passes new law. On the Wednesday, Facebook and Instagram threatened to block all news articles in California. Haven't heard from you. That's why. Tell me why. If state lawmakers passed the California Journalism Preservation Act, AB 866. The proposed law aims to redirect money from tech platforms to support media organizations in the state by implementing a tax on advertising profits. Ah, it's about the money, 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 money. Oh, oh, money. Don't mess with my money. The proposed law aims to redirect money from tech platforms. That's what it is. Money, money, money. So basically, their advertising profits will be taxed. And they don't like that. They don't like that much. The bill's sponsor, Assemblywoman Buffy Wicks, Democrat argues this would provide a vital lifeline to struggling local news outlets. Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, claims that the law would mainly benefit out-of-state sites. In a statement published on social media, Meta spokesperson Andy Stone wrote, you know, side note, not for nothing that California is such a liberal place. It would be great if they don't have, no longer have Facebook. Not that, is Facebook even relevant anymore? But still, they won't have Facebook or Instagram. That would be great. That would be a great, well, I mean, news story-wise. They won't be able to see the, the, the news story that they want to feed to you. So that's a good thing. This is not a bad thing at all. Nonetheless, the statement says, if... The journal, the Journalism Preservation Act passes, we will be forced to remove news from Facebook and Instagram. Is that a bad thing? I want it to pass because the news, most of it, when it comes from the left, is bad news anyway. It's, it's fake. So it would be a good thing. I am actually rooting for California. I haven't heard from you. Tell us why. I am rooting for you, Cali. Cali, I'm going back to Cali. To Cali. To Cali. I'm going back to Cali. No, I don't think so. Rather than pay into a slush fund that primarily benefits big out-of-state media companies under the guise of aiding California publishers, The bill fails to recognize that publishers and broadcasters put their content on our platform themselves and that subsequently 
uh, consolidation in California's local news industry came over 15 years ago, well before Facebook was widely used. It is disappointing that California lawmakers appear to be prioritizing the best interests of national and international companies over their own constituents. Andy Stone says, made a statement on California journalism, uh, uh, we just read it. The clash between tech giants and news outlets is not an isolated incident. Facebook and Google have previously resisted similar efforts in Australia in early 2021. Facebook brief, briefly blocked news articles while Google threatened to withdraw its search engine from the country. Facebook and Google eventually capulated and paid the news publishers generating a reported 150 mil for local news organizations. So it sounds like they will cave. They will cave. Hold on a second, my light. They will cave. So Washington lawmakers propose a bipartisan bill in Congress last year based on Australia's law and Facebook responded by threatening to remove news from its platform nationwide. It would be a great thing. Canada is in a similar standoff with tech companies ready to blockade news content if similar legislation is passed. Unsurprisingly, California is the first state to try to enact such a bill. If the bill passes, platforms like Facebook will have to pay news publishers whenever they post links to their articles. The idea is that news organizations could create collective to negotiate a payment rate with these platforms. In this setup, <clears throat> all members of a collective would pocket the same amount of money. Recent amendments to the bill require publishers to spend 70% of the revenues from platforms on journalists and support staff, anticipated hiring and pay raise information must be shared from news organizations to their writers and staff and public reporting requirements. So Matt Pierce, he tweeted, is this Twitter? Looks like Twitter, yeah, he tweeted. The California Journalism Preservation Act looks set for an assembly vote this week. Here are some of the latest changes to the bill which I strongly support. And it says here, there's a lot, I'm not going to read through this. You can if you want. The bill's opposition cites concerns that bad actors peddling polarized misinformation or sensationalism could exploit the system or that the legislation may benefit hedge fund owners. Ken Doctor, who funded Look Out Santa Cruz in 2020, I said Look Out Santa Cruz in 2020 with the goal of creating a substantial model for local news emphasizes the cruel role of local journalism, Dr. said. You can't see me. You can't run a local democracy if people don't have basic information about the government and the power that surrounds them, whether it's school districts or businesses or labor. People need to know what's going on to be able to actually activate a democracy. Dr. Ray's with additional concerns explaining my worry, I worry, 
is that the bill would disproportionately benefit the very companies that have been undermining local journalism over the past decade while offering relatively little support to independent organizations like mine. The bill is expected to pass the California Assembly and move to the State Senate. So what do you think of California haven't heard from you? Tell us why, tell me why. Today's show is brought to you by Political Bomb Show Store. Go to politicalbombshow.com, click on Political Bomb Show Store. So woke to broke. Get you so woke to broke. So woke to broke. So woke to broke. Just go to politicalbombshow.com, click on Political Bomb Show Store, and there you go. Leave a like, share, and subscribe, Rumble, YouTube, Odyssey, and I will see you very soon.